Uh, former President Obasanjo had, 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 if, if former President Obasanjo had chosen that line of action, he is wrong. Uh, as a former president, uh, he cannot tell someone not to seek to be re-elected. Uh, but Mr. President uh, has merely uh, declared his intention to seek uh, uh, re-election. It does not mean that he has been re-elected. He still has to go through a process to uh, uh, get the mandate to uh, run the affairs of Nigeria for a second term of four years. You know, this is a declaration of intent and is entitled to it. If Abbasanjo feels that uh, he hasn't performed to his own satisfaction, Abbasanjo is not uh, representing the entire Nigerians. That is his opinion. And if he thinks that he has the force to mobilize uh, to stop president from being re-elected, uh, he's entitled to pursue that, you know. Uh, but he cannot say he will not um, seek re-election. Uh, there are people, obviously, who want uh, Buhari to be re-elected, particularly those from, uh, from his area. They want him to go for a second term. And uh, democracy is about um, uh, our using our votes to decide who leads us. You know, so if we go to the ballot and President Buhari garners the votes and the spread as prescribed in the Constitution, it will go on. You know, if he fails to uh, get the votes, the majority of the lawful votes, and the requisite spread, spread prescribed in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he will leave. So anything anybody will do in a democracy must come from the people. Obasanjo has expressed his own opinion. At the time, he wanted to go for third term. And, and he was stopped because uh, third term wasn't in our constitution. He wanted to push through it, and he failed. So uh, no matter how anybody feels, uh, we must allow the people to decide what they want. If Nigerian people say they want to worry for another a term of four years, uh, that's it. It must be expressed through the ballot box and the votes will be counted. That is why our constitution uh, provides for renewal of mandate every four years, given, uh, taking it back to the people for the people to give that mandate. If the people withhold the mandate, that is the end. So anything we will do must follow the provisions of our constitution and what, the demo, what democracy says. Uh, four people cannot stay in different corners of Nigeria and uh, uh, begin to um, uh, use their opinions to decide for the people. They are free to express the assessment of the president's performance. They are free to express that. But they cannot say the Nigerian people must accept what they say. Uh, what will, uh, will determine whether Buhari moves on on that term, will be the way the ordinary Nigerians rate his government. Whether he has met the expectations in terms of removing hunger in the land, whether he has met the expectations in terms of providing employment for the teeming unemployed uh, Nigerians. What we do here daily in this office, writing letters of recommendation uh, for youths who are seeking for one form of employment or the other. You know, so um, the people who have these uh, uh, voters' cards are the people who decide who moves on and who drops. Um, uh, uh, talking about Obasanjo specifically, I, I do not think that he's a good campaigner. You know, uh, he had eight years uh, to run the affairs of Nigeria under a democratic arrangement. He, he did, and all, he left all the problems behind uh, before leaving. Instead, he started seeking for third term. I remember when he came, he said he was going to tackle the issue of uh, 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 power, inadequate power supply. You know, that was in 1999. He said he would tackle it head on. And that uh, lampooned the, the military administrations for not being able to solve the problem. His administration spent the hugest amount of money on power and delivered nothing, over $16 billion. So you see, um, 
I don't like uh, when people use their, their, their own time, fail to deliver to the people, then they become monitors of people who succeed them. You know, uh, some of these things being said would have been more credible if they are coming from ordinary Nigerians, those who uh, bear the brunt of any wrong actions of government, not those of them that are very rich. Obasanjo was president for eight years as a civilian president. He was a military president or military head of state for three years and some months, you know. So I, I think um, uh, they're not the people that will drive this process. Uh, the ordinary Nigerians who suffer, uh, you know, are the people who should drive the process of demanding for change. If there's anything Buhari has done now that has affected Nigerians negatively, it is not affecting Obasanjo. I can tell you that. He's, he's not within the, the league of people who the wrong actions of the present government are impacting ne negatively on. He has everything he, he needs. If they take a, a light now, he can run his home with a generator for two weeks non-stop. He won't complain. He has money to pay for this one. He has generators installed for him. So why is it they want to tell us what to do? You know, and um, that's uh, uh, notwithstanding, uh, what I'm, I'm, I'm saying in effect is that we should leave the process of choosing leadership to the Nigerian people. In fact, the Nigerian people, the ordinary people, are those millions we are talking about. Most times, they don't even have the opportunity to express their views, but are bearing the brunt of bad governance. So let them use their votes to decide what they want. This is my view on this. Uh, the president has right to seek re-election, but his, his right to seek re-election does not automatically translate that he has become re-elected. He must subject himself to a test through the voting process. Uh, if they vote him out, then he will go and rest. If they vote him in, he will continue being the president. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Uh, we have the right, the sovereignty of the Nigerian nation resides on the Nigerian people. And when I talk about Nigerian people, I talk, by, I talk about the ordinary Nigerian people. The ordinary Nigerian people. People who don't have money to pay school fees for their children. People who don't have money to buy food for their children. People who don't have money to even buy uh, cars or to pay for services they need on a daily basis. People who cannot afford uh, Medicare, you know, and see their loved ones dying because of lack of money to go to hospitals to, for them to be taken care of. These are the people government has placed, or the constitution has placed uh, social responsibility on the government to protect. So if the government is not delivering along these lines, these are the people who are registered voters who can use those, their votes to say what they want. Vote for, for the Nigerian people. Yeah. The is a viable person yeah. that can win for the party. Why not? So uh, the parties are registered to contest the elections. You know, and um, if they have people within their membership that aspire to contest for any position available, the, the party cannot shut out their members from contesting elections. The people must come out and demonstrate the desire to provide leadership to the country at the highest level. They must be visible, Nigerians must see them, and then uh, the party will decide. Uh, I don't think uh, any political party will shut out its members from seeking elective position at any level. You know. So uh, it's, a, it's a voluntary um, activity to seek office, to be elected, is a voluntary activity. It's not something you put on anybody. And that's why it is uh, uh, wrong for somebody to say somebody should not contest. You don't abridge any person's constitutional rights. But if you feel the person is not in a position to provide good leadership and good governance, you can mobilize people not to vote for the person. At the day, the voting will take place. Everybody will be on his own including the person who is saying that uh, he sh uh, should go and rest, is entitled to one vote. When he votes, he goes home. 
you know. Uh, those of us who, who served uh, this country in, polit in political party leadership when Obasanjo was president, I was very critical of Obasanjo's presidency. I was. Because uh, there were too many things he did I, as a person, did not agree with. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't see him as somebody who worked to enthrone democracy in Nigeria. Rather, he sabotaged democracy. Uh, under his watch, Nigeria didn't make any progress in having a decent democracy in terms of allowing people to vote for people of their choice, mm -hmm. and then uh, those votes are respected. Uh, electoral banditry was uh, of the highest proportion under Abbasanjo's presidency. And I was uh, challenging him throughout the time when I was national chairman of Africa. Uh, that does not mean that I'm saying that things are okay today. Uh, it doesn't mean so. But I'm saying that himself, as a president, he had an opportunity <clears throat> which Buhari does not yet have. He, he had it for eight years. And he did not fix Nigeria. You know, this is the National Assembly. All the National Assembly members we have today, none has an official residence. Yet before Basanjo came, the military government built the legislative quarters for the 109 senators and the 360 members of the House of Representatives members. They were all given official quarters at their poor legislative quarters. We are aware of that. Under Basanjo's presidency, the properties were monetized at giveaway prices. And those who, who served at that time acquired those houses. Things that government of Nigeria uh, envisioned that lawmakers will need official residence. They planned for it, developed these uh, uh, houses, and allotted them to lawmakers that came in with Obasanjo. And in 2003, he sold all of them at giveaway prices. That today, uh, this National Assembly and the last one, the Seventh National Assembly, had no official residence. Even the, the Sixth National Assembly had no official residence. When I came here when I, and I was sworn in, I had no place to move into. I had to move into the hotel, paying ex exorbitant uh, rates that you cannot even recover from the National Assembly, and I had to go and rent a house. You know, and the house I have rented, nobody can give me the money, neither the National Assembly, you know, uh, for the type of rent they are asking for in Abuja here. Yet these things have been provided for. Obasanjo sold all of them out. So if we are rating his stewardship, we can see that there are, uh, he failed in so many areas, and he, he also uh, helped to institutionalize the uh, 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 electoral corruption in Nigeria. That is the greatest disservice he did to this nation. Um, we are very critical of that, knowing that uh, when people elect somebody they want, then you change it and put in somebody who, uh, who did not even take part in the election and force the person on the people. Uh, is it not worse than economic corruption? Electoral corruption is worse than economic corruption because through electoral corruption, we bring bad leaders into governance. And when they get in, they don't think about ordinary people. You know, anything goes. So his, his era was an era of anything, uh, anything went. <laughs> so uh, in, in 2019, in 2019, I will uh, advocate for the Nigerian people to use their votes to decide what they want. They should be able to vote for a candidate of their choice. No doubt, that so many things will determine where people put their votes. And let's allow people to put those votes um, according to their determinants, you know, determining factors, uh, how this government has affected them. Uh, if it has affected them good and they're happy with it, they put their votes back for the president. If they have not uh, gotten what they bargained for in the first one, they, they go for a change. That is the beauty of democracy. There's nothing called democracy. Democracy is government um, by the people, for the people, and by the people. Government for the people, 
by the people for the people. So uh, you can make a mistake and say, Obasanjo told you, or somebody told you not to vote for this person. It's something you, you look at yourself, your well-being, uh, how you are faring, whether your children can go to school, whether you can pay their school fees, whether there is security, whether there is peace. There are too many things to consider before you put your vote. Let nobody <coughs> decide for the Nigerian people. And uh, let nobody tell us who will contest and who will not contest. The constitution is there to say who will contest or who should not contest.